Hey guys, I'm actually here to film my current favorite and my biggest favorite is actually right here. I wanted to introduce him to you guys by the end of the video, but he really wants my attention right now. So I'm gonna show him to you. So that's my favorite number one, my new puppy Dorian, who actually turned four months today. So he's not so tiny anymore, actually. I feel like he's so big already. I've had him for a month, a little over a month, and he has grown so much in that month. He's really heavy now. And yeah, here he is, Dorian Gray. <laughs> and he's um, Cocker Spaniel, English Cocker Spaniel. Uh, his ears are also growing every single day. And he's munching onto his munchie right now. And here he is. Um, let me show you. <laughs> Say hello, Dorian. Look at his paws. They're so cute. He brings so much joy to my life and I love him so, so much. I think you can see that on my Insta stories. Um, he's like a ray of sunshine and I can never be angry on him. He can pee on the floor and I'll be angry for a second and then I'll look at his eyes. Spaniels naturally have these sort of droopy, sad looking eyes, so it just kills me. When I look at him, I'm like, okay, can I be angry on you? Um, and yeah, oh, by the way, um, a very interesting thing about him is that he actually has a heart on his side. Here we go. I don't know if you can tell, but he bites so much because his teeth are growing. Oh, by the way, I found a tooth because he was munching on his bone on my bed actually and then I noticed little splatters of blood I was like what the hell is that and then I found his tooth so um, you know his baby teeth will fall out and adult teeth will grow but yeah because of that he bites so much like my hands probably won't be able to tell but they're covered in scratches basically anyway that's my biggest favorite and a lot of you guys actually did a Q&A on my Instagram yesterday a lot of you guys asked me if he gets along with Louis Louis was very scared of Dorian because he he's super active and he just wants to play I mean he's a baby still and Louis is a very calm mellow cat he doesn't like any noises he's quite a scared cat as you might know um, so at first Louis was hiding, he was scared of Dorian, but now Louis doesn't care anymore. He he doesn't play with Dorian, of course, but he can tolerate him, like his company. Like Dorian will, when he sees Louis, he will run up to him, start sniffing him and like do this. But Louis is just like, are you done yet? He will only hiss if Dorian basically comes like super close to his face let me tell you guys about the rest of my favorites because i have a lot of them i have lots of random favorites not a lot of beauty this time I have a few fashiony bits i've been loving scrunchies so much i actually get them off ebay for like a dollar or two dollars i'm gonna link them down below for you guys i have two of these and uh, this sort of champagne color these are my favorites um and i also love this khaki color so i just do a low bun uh with a scrunchie and it just looks so classy and elegant and i adore this look if i don't want to style my hair i don't want to curl it or do anything with it i'll just um put my hair in a low bun with a scrunchie and it looks really put together so love these and they're also great for sleeping in um, because they're so soft and gentle on your hair. So keeping with fashion favorites, bucket hats. I have a few here. So I actually stole these two from my grandmother. This one is definitely my grandmother's and this one I think is mine from teenage years. Um, so when bucket hats came back to fashion this year or last year, I was like, there will be no chance of me wearing a bucket hat ever again. I've had my time wearing bucket hats as a teen. I wore them all the time, but like, I don't want to see them again. But then I started seeing everyone, um, you know, fashion bloggers style them in such cute ways on Instagram. I see them everywhere, basically. So I eventually changed my opinion and now I think they look super cute. So I'm pretty sure this was mine. And then um, yesterday I actually got this linen one. 
um, from a street seller in Palanga. Linen is so nice for summer, it's very lightweight, easy breezy and yeah, with just like a simple t-shirt and shorts, I think it's such a cute look. Please go to Bershka and get yourself these shorts. They are so incredible. The material is really, really nice. These shorts have this waist tie that I basically tie on the side and let it hang like that. And they almost look like a little skirt, but um, they're just so comfortable, so easy breezy for the summer, perfect color. That has been my uniform, these shorts, an oversized t-shirt, a bucket hat and sandals that I'm gonna show you in a minute because I'm obsessed with them as well. But another thing I'm loving is little sort of baguette um, handbags. So these sort of small bags. This one is actually vintage. I actually have a few um, these sort of baguette style bags coming on Akmore Vintage, my Instagram uh, online vintage shop. But this is like, I, I bought quite a few of them and I, I just want to keep most of them for myself. Um, so this is sort of a raffia one with a chocolate leather and yeah, it's just so, so nice. I love how it looks. And by the way, this blazer is also vintage. And the dress is from Silk Laundry. It's a beautiful silk slip dress. Um, and here is my baby. Here you are. I'm so Dorian will keep interrupting me. Um, okay, I'm gonna have to go grab the sandals. Wish up, wish up. You're a little bored? Aren't you the cutest? Aren't you the cutest? And he lives for belly rubs. He loves them so much. Okay, will you let me film without biting me? Will you let me continue filming? These are the sandals I wanted to tell you about. I adore them. They're not leather, they're from H&M. They were 20 euros and I just don't take them off. I wear them everywhere, like literally everywhere. These are actually the only shoes I wear this summer. And so they basically look like Birkenstocks. Um, I would actually love to get myself a pair of Bir white Birkenstocks as well. Um, a lot of people will hate them and think they're like, granny or grandpa shoes but they're so comfortable and i just i like how they toughen up every outfit like you can wear these super flowy shorts or a dress like a silk dress like this i would wear it with these sort of um ugly bulky sandals and i don't know i just like that vibe and um yeah i actually wore them throughout my uh, entire trip to Jordan so they're very very comfortable the only shoes I will wear this summer and I'm definitely gonna go back to H&M and get a second pair my favorite coffee has been this one I already talked about being Love ambassador this year and I love their coffee I drink it every single day I've tried them all they have five different um, coffee variations this is uh, Lungo and it's intensity five matinata and this is just a very soft mild sort of sweet coffee with um almond milk it's incredible it's to me my favorite coffee ever if you have a coffee machine um definitely try these out they're incredible um that's actually the coffee i'm having right now it's yeah if you don't like your coffee to be too intense and you want it to be very smooth, mm -hmm. seriously, so good. I recently discovered this gum. My all-time favorite gum is just Orbit Spearmint. I always, always, always buy it, but I discovered this and I can't stop. It's Halls Ice Crush Watermelon Sugar-Free Gum and it's just so, so yummy. But there's not a lot in the box. So I always go through the box super quick. I don't know how many there are, but yeah, it's just... I hate the packaging though, because it's not... Yeah, the gum basically falls out in your bag sometimes, but they're like these little pink cushions. Check it out <laughs> if you're looking for new gum. Last random favorite is this one. You might think, what the hell is this? But I feel like this is one of the best things you can buy for your dog. It's um, called Sumo and it's basically a cone. You can fill it up with anything. Um, there are lots of videos on YouTube with Kong. Um, that's like the 
original most popular one but this brand copied it changed it a little bit and created this sumo um so what i do i fill it up with turkey pate and put it in a freezer so the next day you have dog ice cream and dorian loves it so he will have his breakfast and then i'll give him his ice cream and he will spend like an hour licking it all out um, and if your puppy is super active and you don't know what to do, you need some time off for yourself. Like sometimes Dorian needs a lot of attention and I need to do something. So I'll give him his ice cream and then he will be preoccupied because he will try and lick everything out. And he does actually. Imagine how much effort it actually takes for a puppy to lick everything out of it. This is also great for um, teeth, for teething puppies because yeah, it's nice and squishy for biting. Let's move on to beauty favorites. I have two hair favorites. I don't know if I've talked about them. I feel like I have. These products are so, so brilliant. And the only two things I actually use for my hair right now, this is Carastase Cicaplasm um, Leave-In Conditioner with uh, Hyaluronic Acid and Edelweiss. And it's just, so incredible it's basically a heat protectant leave-in cream universal fortifying heat protecting serum for lightened or highlighted hair instantly unifies damaged areas of the fiber provides smoothness and lightness for flawless blonde hair um, and it protects from heat up to 230 degrees uh, celsius so I use that, it smells very citrusy and very lovely. And then I use this um, Schwarzkopf Oil Ultime Rose Finishing Oil, which smells like roses. I'm almost out of it, as you can see. And this is just the most beautiful hair oil. So I uh, mix the two in my palm, rub my hands together like this, and then apply it all over my hair. And my hair is just so shiny and soft afterwards. Um, I don't know if my hair looks shiny today, but this is basically what I use. And I will use this oil after styling my hair again, or just like whenever I want to, whenever I want to add a little bit of glossiness, tame the frizz, um, I will use this oil. And I got Auxe hooked on it as well. When she was at mine, she tried this oil and she was like ordering it right away online because it just smells magical. Your hair smells like roses. So what's not to love about that? Um, this is my magic hair combo and I cannot live without these two anymore. Have I raved about them enough? I think I have. I feel like I'm gonna rave about every single product because I've been seriously loving them so much and that's why I'm doing this video just to recommend them to you guys. Um, so if you remember my YSL cream to powder bronzer that I used to love, I've discovered this NARS multiple stick and it's basically a substitute for me and I love it. I use it every time I wear makeup. In summer I don't really wear makeup unless I have to film or take pictures or go out but normally every day I don't wear makeup but when I do this is what's on my skin and I become so quick simple and minimal with my makeup. This is all I do to my face really. I don't wear more makeup and it just I found what works for me and what I like and I'm happy about it and this is what I love. Um, it's called Bien Tien and it's just a matte cream uh, bronzer. So I take my um, Real Techniques sponge and then I apply it just here on my cheeks, like cheekbones, cheeks, my nose, my eyelids, forehead, temples, my chin, basically anywhere that sun would naturally hit me. And this way, it just kind of adds dimension and color and glow to my face. And it's matte, it's very warm tone, so you look sun-kissed. I love it. Um, another product I've been really enjoying is a Glossier uh, Cloud Paint in Beam. <laughs> Actually, Glossier is pretty hard to get uh, your hands on, but Aux and I did a switch. So she had this Glossier product and I had my Bobbi Brown cream pot rouge cream blush that I adore and I wanted this one so bad that we exchanged the products because she wanted to steal my Bobbi Brown product I wanted this one sometimes we do that with fashion items or beauty products we exchange them um, and yeah I've been really enjoying it it's such a beautiful sort of corally peachy color just put it like here even up to even on my nose actually 
and it just gives you that rosiness and you look like you've been out in the sun and you you look sun kissed so i like it it's easy to blend looks very natural it sort of melts into your skin doesn't feel like makeup at all i guess that's the idea with glossier products um okay another oh it actually matches my jacket it's like mustard color this was a gift i recently received from christiana or beauty um department store it's Guerlain rouge g lipstick uh, i actually bought one for myself in nude color as a treat to myself i think it's called ingenue or something it's in my bathroom um but yeah, it's just like a chrome simple chrome one but they have released these sort of embossed um lipstick cases lots of different colors and textures and you also have these leather cases so this is embossed leather in this mustard color they also sent me um blue one blue croc print leather um so when you buy a lipstick you can choose a shade and you can choose a case that you want for your lipstick so you can keep the case forever basically and only repurchase lipstick bullets this is such a beautiful um shade of lipstick i'm gonna link down below because it doesn't say here it's a matte one I'm not sure if this is a new color as well but yeah it's like this sort of muted matte rose color perfect for every day it's more pink that i'm used to wearing but actually a pink that i enjoy that's not barbie pink or too girly it's like a mature pink color i really like it so uh by the way i didn't even show you the case properly but when you pull it out it opens up like that and you have a mirror how incredible is that it is very heavy, but I just love the fact that it has a mirror in it and just feels so retro and glamorous. To me, this is the most beautiful lipstick I own right now. Um, so yeah, thank you so, so much, Christiana. And just wanted to let you guys know that you can check these out. And the last beauty favorite, actually another present from Christiana. I was so spoiled with this and I, I cannot believe it. It's in my top three or two definitely top five fragrances right now it's from a perfume brand that i have never heard of before i think it's pretty new it's bottega profumeria and this scent is called in flora they don't have too many scents up to 10 no more than 10 cents and i have checked the notes of every single fragrance that they have and they all look like something i would love I love their note combinations. This is one magical fragrance, the best fragrance for summer. Oh my God, I cannot get over it. It's, it has rose in it, it has citruses in it. I'm gonna leave a list of notes that it has here. It's just so special. It, oh my God, I adore it so much. So I basically bathe myself in this fragrance. The bottle is so, boring and plain and simple i wouldn't even probably notice it or even pick it up but the scent the juice inside look how much i have used and i've had it for like only a month and i don't use up my fragrances that fast but this one i honestly just bathe myself in it it's very expensive though but to me it's just pure gold and one last favorite i want to mention is TV series Chernobyl, if I'm pretty sure that most of you and your mom have already seen it. But if you haven't, please go and watch Chernobyl. It's incredible. It was filmed in Lithuania. Um, actually, not too far where my grandparents used to live in Vilnius. So, you know, the building, Soviet style buildings are very familiar. And I watched it with my parents and my parents actually remember the day that the explosion happened and they remember where they were and uh, it was super windy so you know the radiation was being blown to Lithuania because we live not too far away from Ukraine so incredibly filmed the cast is just great everything about it just shows how tragic it actually was and how careless some people were and irresponsible and it just makes you so so furious watching it but yeah it's only five episodes so it's super short but 
very very powerful it packs a punch so please make sure to watch it oh and by the way my grandfather he actually worked for decades i think um at Ignalena's Atomic Electrina, the sister power plant of Chernobyl, uh, but in Lithuania, which is closed now, um, well, in the process of being closed. But yeah, my grandfather worked there and he has pictures of him in the, you know, white uniform. I really want you guys to watch it and I'm gonna leave it here because I've been rambling for too long. I hope you're enjoying your summer because I surely am. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram um because i post lots of stories and pictures and whatnot so see you guys soon bye dorian is saying goodbye to you as well bye he's so sleepy i can't he's in his sleep mode we're just gonna sleep here